For the next half hour, I predict a cyclone here, a tornado here, and a Bill Nye the Science Guy right here. Bill Nye the Science Guy. Bill Nye. Inertia is a property of matter. T minus seven seconds. the science guy. Brought to you by wind. It'll blow you away. For the next few days, we'll see plenty of moving air masses around here. Now, back to you, Bill. Wind doesn't come from a fan. No, in nature, wind is caused by the heat from the sun and the rotation of the earth. That's what makes these intricate patterns of clouds that we see on this photo from space. It works something like this. This is our great big plastic wind box of science. These lights represent the sun. This ice represents the north and south poles. So here's what happens. Energy from the sun heats the land, and the land warms the air over the land. The air molecules get going faster, and they spread farther apart, so they don't weigh as much for the room they take up. So cold air can push the warm air up. That's why we say warm air rises. So look what's happening. The smoke shows us that the air is sinking over the cold poles, flowing over the cities, and then rising over the warm parts. See, it goes around in a great big circle. And that's what happens on the Earth. Now, there's one more thing. The Earth is spinning, so the wind starts spinning. That's why wind comes from all different directions. Wind is wild. The balloon swells because warm air takes up more space. It expands. A bucket of icy water is used to cool the bottle of warm air. But cool air takes up less space. Cool air contracts. Hello, fellow scientists. This is Willard Scott, right here in Phoenix, Arizona, where the weather is simply fantastic. Why? Because the Earth is spinning and the sun is shining. And that makes the wind that makes the weather. You got it. And without the wind, there would be no weather. And without the weather, there would be no other people. Stay tuned for another great moment in science. The year is 1994. Science Guy gets curious about where wind comes from. Decides to jump out of airplane to find out. Some question the wisdom of this move. Boy, this is one wacky guy. Hear that? It's wind! Wind is moving air! Wind makes weather! Wind can do work! It can blow things around! Let's see where I land! Ready? And will he find out where wind comes from? Stay tuned to Great Moment. Hot air rises. You know how you can tell? Make some toast. When the toaster heats, it heats up the air inside. You can feel the hot air rising to your hand. Cold air sinks. You can tell when you open the freezer. Above the door, it's a little cold. But below the door, it's very cold. Cold air comes out of the freezer and sinks. Hey, that's hot. It's also cool. Uh-oh. Hot air. Cold air. Hot air. Cold air. Hot air. Cold air. <laughs> Thank you.
blown by moving air, the tumbleweed rolls along, its feed shaken loose along the way. Heating and cooling of the earth makes wind! And without weather people, there would be no one to wish beautiful folks like sweet little Gussie McDonald isn't uh -huh. too This is a wind skate sail. And it's a sail designed for use with uh, roller blades. You hold the sail and the wind powers you. What I've been doing over the last eight years has been developing what I call the wind dance. So what I'm doing is sort of a wind-blown ballet. So the wind pushes me. It's the, uh, it's the motivating force behind what I'm doing here. And listen, she still bakes muffins and loves to ride her bicycle. That's Isn't nice. Isn't that sweet? Uh huh. From Phoenix, Arizona, this is weather forecaster Willard Scott and Wind Lover. When warm and cool air masses meet, the air often becomes a swirling, unquiet sea of clouds. The clouds grow bigger and blacker until the moisture they contain falls onto the earth below. Hail! Uh, ooh, boy. Hail starts out as liquid raindrops. It falls down, and in the same updrafts that form thunderstorms, blow the hailstones back up high in the clouds, where another layer of liquid water forms on the outside and refreezes. So you get these hailstones that are layers. They fall down, and then they get blown back up, and then down and up, down and up, till eventually they're too heavy to stay up, so they fall down. Oh, boy. On our heads. Whew. It's enough to make you want to go inside until after the storm is over. When you run outside, collect all the hailstones you can and put them in the freezer so you can look at them later. The largest hailstone on record weighed 760 grams and it was 44 centimeters around. All hail, hail! Oh, 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 oh! So high arises and makes wind. And do you know what? What? When, 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 what? when puffs of hot air rise, they make the dust in the air move around. When wind blows, all this stuff moves around and stuff. Uh -huh. So dirt also moves around in the air. Uh -huh. And the stars look like they're twinkling. And in the winter, when it's really cold, air doesn't rise as much, and the stars don't twinkle very much. Okay. High pressure is really starting to build in, and that means the winds are picking up. The barometer is on the rise. Sunshine. Oh, wait, wait, excuse me a second. Can I use your weather map? We're oh. considering yeah. the following. Oh, well, hi, Bill. Sure. Yeah, go ahead. Thanks. Go ahead. Thanks. So a barometer is what scientists use to measure pressure in the atmosphere. Barrow is from an old word that means weight. So a barometer weighs the atmosphere. We call it barometric pressure. Tell you what, take a look at this. Oh, uh, well, uh, take a look at this map in a dish. When I tip it this way, it makes the oil slosh to this end, and it gets thicker here and thinner here. The same thing happens with the air in our atmosphere. Some places it's thick, and some places it's thin. Now, when the air is thick, it gets heavier, and it can push the water level in this weather glass down. We say it's got high barometric pressure. Or it can make the needle on this type of barometer go this way, like a clock. Now, when the air is thin, it doesn't weigh as much. It lets the water level in the weather glass come up. We say it's got low barometric pressure. Or it lets the needle on this barometer come back in this direction. Now, normally, when we have high barometric pressure, it's sunny. And when we have low barometric pressure, it's stormy. The winds are kicking out of the north up to, up to uh, 40 me, we're, we're, we're almost done. Uh, again? Oh, yeah, yeah, thanks. Yeah, sir, uh, thanks. So, sloshing air makes wind. And that's what makes hurricanes and thunderstorms, tornadoes and typhoons. Thank you for joining us on Consider the Fall. Who let this clown in there? Somebody call security, would you? called a jet stream is a high altitude wind that moves from west to east. It 
it's sometimes called westerly. It goes about 250 kilometers an hour. Fast enough to make a trip from San Francisco to New York take five hours. When a trip from New York to San Francisco takes six hours, all because the plane has to push against the wind. Oops. Another great moment in science. Last episode, Science Guy gets curious about wind, jumps out of airplane. Some question the wisdom of this move. Boy, this is one wacky guy. See what happens next. After a successful landing, Science Guy concludes wind comes from the heating and cooling of the Earth by the sun and the Earth's rotation. Another great moment in science. <laughs> Weather Watch with Johnny Wind. Sitting in for Johnny Wind tonight is Connie Coriolis. Good evening. This is Weather Watch. I'm Connie Coriolis sitting in for Johnny Wind. In tonight's top story, Weather Watch news anchor Johnny Wind is still missing. Yesterday, authorities discovered a fan letter in Mr. Wind's home that has led them to believe he may be off flying a kite. In other news, the sun today heated air at the equator, causing it to rise. This rising motion left a void that was quickly filled in by cooler air. Millions experienced this as wind, a natural phenomenon and no relation to the missing Weather Watch anchor. For a special report on this, we go to Gale Force on Hurricane Ridge. This is wind, a natural phenomenon that is no relation to missing news anchor Johnny Wind. From Hurricane Ridge, I'm Gale Force. Thank you, Gale. When we return, Dirk Doldrum files the third report in his special series, Humidity. Boy, it's muggy. This has been Weather Watch with Johnny Wind. Sitting in for Johnny Wind tonight was Connie Coriolis. Thank you for tuning in. Connie. Connie! Air rises at the equator and sinks at the poles. Since the Earth rotates, the wind moves in circles, not straight down. This is called the Coriolis effect. The Coriolis effect. It's named after Gaspard Coriolis, the French scientist who discovered these wind patterns. Beautiful day for sailing, isn't it? You know, this hat I'm wearing is named after the wind. If we're sailing on this side of North America in a low pressure system, the wind will be coming from the northeast. We call it a nor'easter. This is a nor'easter hat. On this side of North America in a low pressure system, the wind will be coming from the southwest, like this. We call it a sou'wester, and this is a sou'wester hat. Two different directions, same wind, same hat. Beautiful day for sailing. Hot air rises and cold air whooshes in to take its place. Now how do we get tornadoes and hurricanes? They go round and round, right? The earth is turning. That makes the wind go round and round. I'll show you. See, the marble can't go straight across. It curves. Wait a minute. Let's do that again. You see, the marble doesn't go in straight lines because the lazy Susan is turning. So the wind goes in a circle because the earth is spinning. It's turning. Sometimes that makes tornadoes and hurricanes. Cool! Wind makes weather! Have you been ever in a tornado? No. How about in a hurricane? No. no. All right. In a case of a tornado, the house will fall apart. When the houses fall apart, there are pieces of two by fours, you know, pieces of wood that are flying all over the place. What we want to show you is what kind of things really happen to a window when a piece of wood like that comes by.
What we want to do is design the window glass so that that piece of 2 by 4 won't go through it and provide you with a little bit more safety in the house. Here in Texas, the tornado is very severe. This is where you would see a piece of wood flying at about 150 miles per hour. If you have a design that is tornado resistant, then it's going to be safe. This is the research that's going to be used in the future. So when you start building your house, when you earn enough money and build your own house, and say, I want a tornado-proof area, then this is what will be used. Wind erodes mountains and other pieces of land. Now erode, that's from an old word that means wear away. So check out this sand dune. It weighs millions of tons, and it's been moved from there to here by the wind. Wind is always changing the landscape. Wind is wild. When the wind is at work here, the sand shift about, carried along by the moving air. Worn away by the wind. It's science! This is a wind farm. We harvest the wind. These are all electric generators. The motors in your home use electricity. These motors produce electricity. One of these machines produce enough electricity for about 30 homes. The newer machines now will uh, produce enough electricity for approximately 100 homes. They're always running. Whenever there's wind, they run. It's windy. You can make your own windmill. All you need is a piece of paper, some thumbtacks, a paper towel tube, some scissors, and some tape. First, fold it like this. Then fold it like this. Then fold it like this. Then you cut it like this. Then get a piece of tape and fold it like this. Then you tape it like this. Then you pin it like this. Then you pin it to the paper towel tube. Hey, you're done. Suppose you're in a place where there was no wind. Well, we're in a cave in a mountain in Montana. There hasn't been much wind in here in about three and a half million years. So the temperature is always the same. About 12 degrees Celsius or uh, 55 degrees Fahrenheit. No wind, no change in weather. Wild. Wind can do work. It turns windmills and it makes a fun front yard. <laughs> Okay. 
What have you seen the wind do? 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 Hear that? Whether or not you're listening, oh, that sound is being made by the wind. And it's not just a lot of hot air either. Well, thanks for shooting the breeze with me today. Otherwise, I'd just be spitting in the wind. <laughs> so, excuse me, I have got some westerlies to prevail upon. And remember, the answer, my friend, the answer. Produced in association with the National Science Foundation. Funny, oh, funny stuff. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. If they're happy, I'm happy. Want to do it? Yeah. No, I think I, I felt good. I didn't screw, I didn't blow anything.